All right, well, hey everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. We're starting this video up close and personal because we're going to be talking about a charger, and honestly, there's no other place to go right now but up close and personal. There's no need to see anything, uh, any, no need to see anything else. Because yeah, we're going to be talking about this charger. So I got this charger from Nightcore directly. They contacted me, wanted to send some chargers, so we got some chargers. Now this. This right here has become uh, this has become my favorite charger of all time. I'm just gonna come out and say it. If they had one with like uh, four or six battery bays on here, it would be fantastic. But as it stands, I apologize. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to get to their website. This is the UM20 charger, and just like it says, it is a charger. It's a dual 18650 charger. So if we look over the specs on the website charges a whole range of batteries 18650 18490 18350 batteries 17670 17500 16340 14500 and 10440 which you know what most of us aren't going to use any of those batteries except for the 18650 maybe the 18490 maybe the 18350 that's all you have to worry about so it has a display on here it charges your batteries and it has a USB charging port on it, which is why it has become my favorite uh, charger. I take this with me everywhere. Every time I travel, every vape meet I go to, I'm taking this charger because it charges two 18650s as well as uh, it has a USB out, which we're gonna get to in just one second. So it plugs into the wall via a USB. And that's what I have here. That is that, what is that, mini USB? No, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a mini USB, no, no. What is that? That's a micro USB. That's a micro USB. Plugs into the wall. It's not uh, super sturdy. I always get worried about this uh, little USB bending for some reason. But it holds in there nice and it shows you a little display. And right now I have no, uh, no batteries in there so it's not charging anything. So if I were to stick a battery in here, this is one that I just pulled off of a mech mod that was feeling very, very weak to me. I can pop it in here and I can see that it was at 58%. Generally when I'm pulling things out of mech mods or unregulated box mods, they're around 50, sometimes 40%. I pulled some off the other day that were at 28%. And you can see right on here, I'm at 59%. When this gets to 100, it'll actually stop charging and it'll just show you, hey, this is 100%. I'm not doing anything to your battery, but it's at 100%. And it charges. I mean, obviously, it's going to be the same and I'm getting text messages. So you're going to get quieted now. Obviously, it does the same thing. 60% It's charging. It's charging. It has a little charging indicator on there. Oh my God, phone. Sorry. Shows you the same thing on both sides. Charging here, charging there. What's great about this as well, in addition to charging two 18.6 batteries, keep in mind this will not charge 26 650 batteries, is this little pad, this little foot on here. I like it. I like that it's off the table and I like when you set it down and it feels secure. There's little rubby grippers on here, but you pop this up and you have a USB right there and it comes with USB cables. So uh, yeah, we're gonna plug a USB in here. This is a branded Nightcore USB charger. Like I said, it comes with everything you need. We're gonna pop this in here at some point. Yeah, USB goes in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was all the way in. USB goes in there and then this lid closes over there's a little hole, there's a little slot right here for your USB cable to fall into. That clicks shut and now you have a secure USB on there that you can plug in, uh, I don't know, uh, an iStick 50 watt or the uh, ELVT or the, uh, why can't I think of any other mods that have USB charging, but yeah, it'll charge your USB mods and it will charge your 18650s. Let me grab a USB mod real fast. So yeah, I got the uh, I got the Inokin Cool Fire version four, and I believe this is actually uh, I believe this is actually fully charged right now. But if I plug it in, oh, it's uh, it's got a little bit on the battery, a little bit on the battery. I'm gonna plug this into here, and it's gonna show that it's charging. It's gonna light up, and on your display, 
you're gonna see a little flashing USB thing. And when this is plugged into the wall, you can charge a USB device, you can pop in two batteries. This VTC4 should be basically fully charged, 87%. Plug that in, boom. You're charging two 18650 batteries and a USB mod. Now this is charging on here, these are charging. Additionally, this functions, they, they say it functions as data transfer as well, but I don't really find a need for that. Like, I would never plug this charger into my computer and then plug in like my iPad from this USB. It functions as data pass through, but yeah, that's USB. Of course it functions as data pass through, it should. LCD display presents charging status, fire retardant materials. Let's read a little bit further into this. Intelligent CC CV charging. Automatically stops charging upon charging completion. Activates OV batteries, reverse polarity protection, spring-loaded slider designed to accommodate batteries of different sizes. Again, but it won't charge a 26650 size. Adjust charging power based on detected battery capabilities. So that's an important one. Um, there are some batteries that are different, uh, you know, uh, uh, amperages um, and there's some other chargers I have where you can adjust how much power is going to the batteries, if that makes any sense. I have another Nightcore charger, but I also have, shit, let me grab it. Sorry, I also have this X-Tar charger, uh, XP4, and you adjust with this how many amps, uh, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, one and then you can switch it to the USB. You can decide how many amps are going to your battery. This will automatically detect your battery's needs and give it power uh, accordingly. I feel like that's a really cool thing. It's it's uh, it seems to be uh, much safer. The charger itself is really nice. It doesn't get warm, but it does. Uh, you know, it does charge your batteries and it charges them really quickly um so it has reverse polarity protection so it'll say it'll it'll give you an error if you put a battery in upside down let's just throw this vtc in upside down oops look at that ee -E. it says what are you doing why are you why are you even trying to do that there's no point so let's put the battery back in correctly and now yep we're back up to 87 percent up and running um intelligent intelligently detects input power prioritizes charging process uh, based on your uh, user pre presence. So if it's plugged into the wall and you have enough power, it can charge two batteries and the, uh, and the USB. When the power is less, let's say you have a low power adapter or you have it plugged into your computer, um, it's not going to charge everything at the same time. It's going to do one before it does the other. It's going to charge your battery first and then your USB or your USB first uh, and then your battery. It has what's called battery priority mode. The UM20 charges the batteries first when the batteries are fully charged or removed. The UM20 will switch over and charge uh, the external device via USB. And uh, there is a little switch on the back as well where you can pick that priority. So if the power isn't low enough, like you have a low power adapter or it's plugged into your computer, you flip this little switch right here and you can say, no, I want my batteries to be charged first. No, I want my USB to be charged uh, first, but I have sufficient power going to it. So it's charging both of the batteries and the, uh, and the USB as the same time. And then they say, of course, yes, serves as a data transfer medium medium in case you're plugging your iPad, uh, your iPad into it. Um, so the last thing that I wanna point out on this charger, this should be a pretty quick video, is I'm gonna take these batteries out. I'm gonna unplug my Inokin Cool Fire version four because that's charged now. And I'm actually gonna unplug it from the wall. What you do is you can wrap up Look at this, look at this happening. You wrap up your USB cord along that little foot, right? And then you can clip it into one of these little clips on the bottom, just like that. So you can have your Inokin Cool Fire version four charging, you know, right here, just like that. You can keep it, you can keep an eye on it. You can have it charging right there. Then you can have your batteries here and then you can have it plugged into the wall. It's just a really, really 
really fantastic charger. Like I said, I wish they made. So this is the UM20, which means two batteries. They also make the UM10, which I have not, uh, I have not even opened yet, but I have a feeling will kind of become my, uh, you know, my, uh, my, my more of a traveling charger. I wish they made a UM60. I wish I could have this with like six bays, but as it stands, I don't believe that they do that. But uh, regardless, doesn't matter. I think it's a great charger. I highly, 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 highly recommend the Nightcore UM20. I'm gonna link to their official website, but I believe you can also find these on like uh, Amazon.com and uh, and this and the like. Let's click on the UM20. No, let's 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 Google search really quick for UM20 just so we can see. Uh, here it is, Amazon.com UN20 sale price seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. That's it. Seventeen bucks will get you your own UM20. This is easily the best charger that I've ever used. Not only does it charge batteries quickly and have a USB and have cable management and have a display, I love that it shows you your percentages. Before I had this, all I had were things like this X-Star charger where, yeah, you plug your battery in and it goes red when it's not charged and it goes green when it's charged. This, it, it lets you see what percentage you're at and it'll let you see how well your batteries are doing, you know what I mean? If you're rocking this VTC4, which is really, really old inside a mech mod, and you're thinking, wow, I'm not getting the battery life that I used to, you plug this in here, you see every time, oh no, I feel like this battery's dead, but it's only at 70%, then it might be time for a new battery. You can see how long you're using your batteries. I pulled some batteries out the other day that were at 20%, which is crazy, and I've pulled batteries off of here that I know are older, and they're at like 60, 70 percent but I feel like they're dead so anyway it's a good way to keep tabs on your batteries I'm a big fan Nightcore uh, charger the UM20 there you go it is what it is there's no vaping in this video so how about some vaping there you go charge your batteries charge them safely and uh, I would suggest doing it with a Nightcore there you go that's what it is thank you so much for watching everybody and as always let's keep on vaping That's enough.